Okay, yeah, and this is just some like background information about me. So I'm a current uh, third year medical student at the California University of Science and Medicine. Um, we're located in um, San Bernardino, California. Um, so my current interest right now is uh, that I want to go into like psychiatry. Um, so some like information on my like medical school journey was that I did apply in the 2020 to 2001, uh, 2020 to 2021 cycle. Um, I graduated from UCLA with um, a BS in human biology and society in 2020. Um, during my gap year, um, it was like right when COVID started. Um, I worked a little bit as like a clinic assistant while I, um, you know, worked on my med school apps and um, interviews. Okay. Um, and so, yeah, basically, so this is just some like background on like what the activity section of um, AMCAS is like. So basically, um, there's um, so basically you can have like up to 15 entries total um, for like your all your different activities um, with and then you can designate um, from these uh, 15 entries, three of them as like your most meaningful experiences. And um, so basically there's a 700 character limit um, with an additional <clears throat> um, 1,325 characters if, um, if you like select it as your most meaningful um, experience. And basically this like section is um, a chance for you to describe like your daily activities um, outside of studying to like med schools and basically what impact um, they had on you as well as like what you learned from um, these activities. Okay, so um, these are just some general, um, let's see, these are just some general um, tips for like writing this section. Um, basically like quality over quantity, that's probably an expression you guys have heard a lot, um, but basically, like you don't need to like fill up all like 15 like slots. Like, I mean, they're there if you have, if you like need them, but um, it's not necessary. Like for me, I remember I only had like, I believe it was like 13 activities. Um, it's just more important, like, you know, how you describe like the activities and um, and like, and um, basically how you describe the activities and like the impact. Um, so yeah, for that, it's like pretty important to like show rather than tell. So basically making sure that you use like, um, making sure that you use like, uh, what was it, active like verbs as adjectives and as well as, um, as well as like uh, specific descriptions of like what activities that you're specifically doing. And if um, you guys look down below, I have like an example of like um, what like sort of this would look like on um, your application. So as you can see that like, um, basically from the experience you'll like designate it um like you'll like choose what type of experience this is um oh and for a disclaimer this is um an example I found online I'm gonna in like the next uh slide have like um examples from my own like application um but I did want to um have a current example just to show you like um how it would look like just because I think for um from like my application cycle to right now the main difference is that like in terms of um, completed and um, anticipated date, just because for my application, it was just like one section. Meanwhile, I think for now, you're able to like write how many like um, or like how much uh, time you've dedicated so far and how much your um, anticip your antici anticipated hours are to like separate it out. OK, so I'm just going to give you guys like maybe a quick minute or so to like read this uh, description down below. And yeah, so basically uh, next, I'm just gonna show you some like things that I sort of like underlined um, for why I think this is like a pretty good like um, experience description. Um, so basically this person um, described how like, um, how they were a um, peer learning facility um, like tutor. And one of the things that I noted was like how they talked about how like through this organization, they were able to get promoted, which shows like their growth um, throughout this activity as well as if you like finish reading the um the what was it the next part of um the or like the last sentence or so it shows like how like what this like student learned from this experience like how they like really honed their communication skills and um you know uh were like were able to like you know effectively teach students from like different backgrounds um so yeah that's pretty important because like i remember from when i was writing um, my activity section that's important to like sort of like how I did it was I did it half like description of what the activity was and then like half um half of it was like basically um like what I learned and like how this um experience impacted me okay so I'm just gonna move on to the next slide 
and yeah basically these are from um my uh my like application so basically um i'm just gonna give you guys like another quick minute or so to like read through this all right so for uh one of like the first activities i uh, wrote about like a leadership experience and basically um sort of what like i guess i highlighted was how like um yeah basically the underlying portion for that i'm showing you guys right now is basically um sort of like what i gained from this um experience just because um so this was like a leadership experience i had that like isn't like directly related to medicine but i did like write about like how um i think it helped me like develop like leadership skills um which um, is like pretty important like for uh, medicine and like the healthcare system in general. And um, so like, if you guys look at the bottom, um, I mean, hopefully you guys have uh, had enough time to read it as well. I know it's uh, kind of like, what was it? Like we might be like running a little short on time. So I'm just gonna like talk about it, but yeah, basically for like most meaningful experience, um, as you can see, besides the like 700 um, character or 700 character description, um, you do get like that additional, like I think it's like 1,300 uh, characters to like sort of talk about like basically what specifically made this experience like really meaningful and like sort of how it impacted um, your development. So yeah, basically for um, this experience, um, I, you know, wrote about like how, um, how for this um, experience I was like, you know, voted um, or how I got like, uh, what was it? the like member of the year award um, to show sort of like my dedication to this organization as well as like in the most meaningful um, experience remarks I was talking I was sort of like um, I guess connecting on a personal level like talking about like sort of why this organization is so important to me and like uh, connecting it with basically with my family background and yeah basically I was able to include more detail on sort of like what I learned from this experience and uh, what like it sorry, and what this experience, um, what this experience, um, or sorry, how this experience is going to, like, impact my future, like, practice as, like, a physician. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so now I'm just going to uh, move on, um, let's see, to, like, letters of recommendation. Um, yeah, I'll have the Q&A at the end of if you guys want to ask me more about, like, activities and whatnot. Okay. So, but basically for letters of recommendation, recommendation, at least for um, AMCAS, generally four or four to five letters of recommendation are needed. Um, so like two of them should be like from science professors. So basically your biology, chemistry, physics um, classes, and one should be from like um, a non-science professor. So from like um, GE or like GE classes or just any like class that you like really enjoyed. And then one or two of them should be from like your extracurriculars, research, or anything like that. And yeah, so there's two options. You can either submit them through your um, through the AMCAS letter services or Interfolio. Um, however, it's important to note that for Interfolio, Interfolio at least, um, it is like um, it does cost like money to send the letter. So I believe the fee right now, like when I was looking it up, just to make sure I had the current fee, it was like sixty dollars. Um, but I think um, the one, I guess, benefit and like why people do prefer Interfolio and like why I used it as well is that you can like store your letters. So um, like what you could do is like ask professors like right after the class, like right after you finish taking their course to like um, submit through Interfolio. I believe it's like still like free to like store the letters. It's just that in order to like send the letters out to like AMCAS, you would need to pay like um, the fee. And yeah, in general, I would, would recommend basically choosing a letter writer that you've had like a positive experience with and basically one that like if possible one that knows you well. Um, I know that can be like pretty hard just because like so I did go to, um, you know, UCLA where for our undergrad like science classes, it was pretty big, like 300, um, you know, 300 people like classes. So and I'm like a little bit more on the more like introverted side. So it was like harder for me to like really like, you know, connect that well with some of my professors. Um, but basically what like I would recommend then is like just like not like being scared to like reach out anyways just because like for some of them like especially if they're like some of them will still be like willing to like write you like a letter just like um just like be prepared to like send them your CV and like maybe like doing like a phone call or like in-person meeting to like talk about like you know what's important for um for like you know adding into um your application and that's actually what happened to me just because what ended up happening for one of my professors was that like I think because this, this was during like COVID times they weren't able to like respond to my letter of like um, recommendation request so like I ended up having to kind of like scramble towards like 
the like I guess month before my applications were due where I was just where I just reached out to one of my professors that I would say I didn't know as well but he was still like pretty nice about it like um so what ended up happening was for him I just sent him my CV uh transcripts um and then um we just scheduled like a phone call to talk about like you know what experiences were important to me and like what are experiences that I think should be included in my um in my like letter of recommendation so yeah I guess the message for that like that I want to have in the end is that like I think for like a lot of the larger public universities where the classes are pretty huge I think most professors do have like the expectation or like are sort of aware that's like really hard to like make like those super personal like you know connections but at the same time they're still willing to like you know help students out just because they want to see uh see you see you succeed <laughs> Okay. All right. And now I'm just going to show you like sort of like a sample like email that I used like when I was reaching out to one of my professors. Um, so basically for me, I started off like the first paragraph by just sort of reminding the professor like who I am, like what class that um, I took from them and like my grade in it. And then I did like, um, you know, want to like start off with a purpose, purpose of, as well by like asking them for the letter of recommendation. And yeah, in the second paragraph, I tried to like, you know, talk about like why I like their class and sort of like how, um, you know, working with them or sorry, how being um, in the class with them or like working with them um, impacted me. And then, yeah, in the third paragraph, I just sort of reiterated um, what the purpose of this email was and like offering to send them like CV transcripts and any basically any other documents that they need, as well as like offering to like meet them in person or um, like or like video call right now is also like a um, popular option, but just, yeah, taking the time to like talk to them. Um, yeah, so you don't have to do it exactly like this. Um, you guys can like, um, I guess, format it like however you guys want, but this is just like one way of like, you know, um, like asking your professor, uh, sorry, this is just one way of like emailing um, your professors for like a letter of recommendation. Mm -hmm. And yeah, now I just wanna talk a little bit about like the packages that I'm offering. So, um, so for me, one of the packages that I have off to offer is like a general consultation package, which is just like um, $30 for like an hour. Um, this is just mainly like, um, I mean, in general, like it's to answer any questions that you guys may have about like the process of applying to med school, um, what being like a med student is like. Um, so yeah, um, so basically for that, you can just like message me and we can like, like with your questions and I can sort of like tailor the session to like, you know, um, to what like, you guys need but like one of this one of the things that I could do is like um basically going over like what you have right now for your application like what are things that could make your application stronger as well as um like if there's like things uh such as like gap years that may be needed um to you know get these things um I also offer like interview prep which is like um two hours like for sixty dollars where um where I'll be focusing on like talking to you through like the different types of like interviews as well as like doing like a mock interview for like um the school of your choice. Um, I also have like packages for um, like personal statement and like activity section, like editing. So basically for this, like you'll send it to me in advance and then um, I'll like, go over it. And then um, we'll do like an hour of like live session to um, to what was it like to like to finish like editing the um, to make sorry to like edit the like personal statement or um, activity section to like make it a stronger and um, to make it like a stronger uh, work. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so now I think I'm just going to start like the Q&A session. Um, and like, if you guys look below, there's also the uh, the QR code like um, that you guys can like uh, scan to like message me, um, message to message me like any questions that you guys may have like on Accepted Together.